Alright, so today we're going to show you how to prep a unit if it's coming in or just to check your system for the Renergy a lithium battery pack and the solar charging to make sure everything's working properly. We have the air conditioner right now running off an inverter which is running off the batteries. We can see here that we're discharging minus 120 amps or 1500 watts. That's for the air conditioner and some 12 volt appliances. We have 3 hours 11 minutes left of run time because we're 97% full of our 400 amp hour possible completely full. So we got 386 left. Now I'm going to shut this off. Just stay looking at that. So now as we shut it off, you can see the amps go down, drop down, lower and lower. So we, we're still at discharge time. That eventually go positive if you're in the sunlight because you'll start to get to charge time which it, this will turn to a plus. We'll show that as we come back in here. Now, when you first get a unit, it might say anything here in 52%, 75, but what we wanna do is make sure that, the, that it's calibrated. So I'm gonna take you through a process to calibrate your battery monitor, the Renergy 500 amp hour. You can find the manual online on their Renergy website you'll see this and they have downloads too so any of the Renergy products the inverter the batteries everything here you could download online just for your information um so we're seeing fluctuations because the sun's changing and the refrigerator which is dc is drawing power right now trying to cool down because we just set this unit out so we're right at about zero we're actually charging now and then that's charging as it trips over so we're producing as much power from the solar panels. So that all looks like it's correct. See, we're in a plus. That shows me that the solar panels are actually charging and everything's hooked up right. So now we're gonna go out and calibrate the batteries to make sure I'll show you the process. So follow me out here. First thing you wanna do, So even with the smaller 15 amp breaker supply, we have it plugged in. And we want to make sure that the battery is turned on in the on position, the green on. And then we hold down the TBB switch. If you have this switch, it tell it's positive. Newer models don't have the TBB. It only has the DC um, disconnect here. And then we want to make sure the inverter is on because the charging happens through the inverter here. Now, just a quick reference also to check. You'll go right in here and you'll want to make sure that on the Renergy inverter that's actually on the off position, that lets the remote panel take control. That way you're all, just use this. You never have to touch that again. And you can see up here, if you zoom in here, this has bypass it and say right here and it shows you that the battery's charging and so that shows you that everything's working properly we're charging now we'll go back inside and see where we're at Now, when the battery's not full it's it's going to go up here and charge so no matter what this percent is just to, again to clarify, we want to we want to make sure that it's a true hundred percent or that it's calibrated properly. So we're showing 79 amps coming in right now. We're charging at 1,000 watts an hour. When that number, the 79.1, drops down, you see it's starting to drop a little bit right now. It's thinking about it as it senses the battery is being full. That will drop down. So it says nine minutes will be completely filled. And at that point, we could hold down the up arrow. When this number right here, the amps, gets to 0 0.02, we hold the, the up arrow for three seconds. And that'll reset us to 100%. I'll do it now, but we'll wait till it's, it's completely set, and then we'll recalibrate to 100%. You just hold that down, and this number right here, jump in the 400 here and 100% here. So we got eight minutes there to do that. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you another way that we could do 
if you're not hooked up, if you don't have shore power and you want to check a unit in and you want to calibrate it, if you're at a campsite and you don't know, if you don't have access to power, let's go out here and show you how to do that. So I've laid out two of the Redergy 300 watt solar panels here. I'm going to do them in series. That puts less load on the wires. I'm going to take the red wire and plug it into the black wire. And then I'm going to plug the other ends into my leads here that I got some longer leads so I could get it out in the sunlight. If you go to the Forest River Service can supply these panels if you don't have some and you want to add them to your unit. And I plug these into the rear port. You could do up to three panels in series like this. Right now we're doing 600 and it will only charge at 60 amps max. This I add 60 amps so you can charge 60 amps in there. These are removable caps that are on the plugs that keep the rain from corroding up when you're not using it. I don't want to lose that, so we'll set that right there for when we're done. Now let's go back in and see how much impact that has. It's already starting to drop off, so we're at 78.8. .8. So it's still charging at the max, which is about that 80 amps. We got seven minutes left. You go ahead. I'm going to just look outside the door here and I'll unplug it and we'll see how much we're getting just from those. And that's a check to make sure our port is correct outside. So now this would identify that we're not getting anything from that port. So we'd want to check and see what's going on with our charge controller, our 60 amp, because we're not getting anything from there. So right now we'd identify that on this unit, just to walk you through, that the charge controller, the 60 amp, is not charging because we have the solar panels hooked up. So I'll go ahead and plug it back in so we can finish calibrating. It takes a little bit for it to kick on. See, I'm, I'm quicker than the inverter. <laughs> <laughs> so now that it slowly um, climbs, it's not instantaneous because it's talking to the batteries to make sure to see where they're at and how much power it needs. So you'll see it climb up like this traditionally once you do it. So that's a come, this number will come back down. We'll get up to that one kilowatts of power and it'll slowly drop down here to where our charge time is. So just to show you, we'll go ahead and do it now. Let's say we were at 0 0.02, make sure that you do that first or it's at least under 0 0.1 in the amps. But if I hold this down just to demonstrate what it does, see it goes to 400, 100%. If you hold it, if you're completely dead, the battery's completely dead and you know it, you can hold down the down arrow and it puts it to 0%. So either one of those will work. And then once again, if it doesn't say 400 here, we could go down here, we hold this one down, and we get this here, where it, you can move that up and down. And then you hit OK if you want to change that, if you add batteries, but if we weren't here, we could do 300, 200 amp hours. We want it set for the 400. You don't need to go into that screen if it's already at 400. Now, if you want to set it so when you get down to 100 amp hours or 25%, you get an alarm, you can set that here too. Just go back through your okay, okay, all that stuff. And then go up and down. Oops. Go back through cycle, I really. So you hit back out of screen. That backs you up to the arrow. And now you can go down to the alarm. So. Uh, let's say we would have set it for 75 amp hours. 
we just go there and reset that. Now that would set that. So now you get alarm when you get down to 75 amp hours, which is about where the battery, the inverter will disconnect at 10.5 volt, which would be about 75 amp hours. Now we'll go ahead and let this charge. This one needs recalibrating because we did it. We set it when it wasn't fully charged. So we'll up, come back here when this drops down all the way down to the 0 0.02 and we'll have to hold that button down to calibrate it. Um, now let's go back outside just one last time. So the, the same thing will happen up in here. Let me take this for a minute. We can see up in here that we have, this is the Renergy DC to DC charger. This is what your solar comes in. That red light indicates that we're getting charged from the rooftop boxes. And then the other two boxes are for, for the batteries. There's a manual on that that you can see that gives you these lights. And we also have it, so the EV1 and 3, both the manuals will have this telling you explaining what those batteries are for but the red light over the solar solid like that means it's in float mode so it's charging properly the front one would be from the alternator so if you hook up your vehicle here you would see a light there a solid light or a blinking light too so this charge controller handles the truck and both your rooftop solar the other panel on the back these panels or in a different location, which we'll see on the next video because we need to find out why this is not charging. Thank you and have a good day.